Alright guys, I want to give y'all an update on what's going on. So, right now I'm trying to kick it into full gear and get going and help pay for this printer that I have a loan on. So, let me show you kind of a quick rundown. I'm, my head's scrambled, I'm not really sure where to start here. So, I'm trying to show you around real quick. So, got my workstation as I guess y'all know. I've got some stickers I'm working on right now. Making these up. Uh, this is Inversa Works for the Roland BN20, BN20A. Have those being made right here. Uh, it's almost done with this batch. I've got 24 four inch stickers on this. I'm using this narrow roll. It looks funny because I bought this stuff by accident, but it, it fits and works in here. It's only 14 inches wide instead of the 20 inches wide of the other media that I'm supposed to use. Um, I have rolling media down there i've got substance media over here this is substance incorporated uh, so far i think this is really good stuff i downloaded the icc profile so that it's printing everything as true color as it can for this media it prints at a specific speed and at only specific it doesn't let you change any print settings basically it only prints at one print setting and I guess it's the optimum print setting and honestly it looks like it's, it, it, it prints really nice it looks really good so here it's kind of close up I don't know how well you can really see it it's not even the best image I, I, I just took it off the website um, but it seems to be uh, pretty high quality so again this is Substance Incorporated is what I'm using here right now this is PM 2750 it's 2.7 millimeter gloss white vinyl they actually sent me this for free one day I didn't even ask for it it's not a whole lot it's only like I guess uh, I don't know maybe it was 10 feet of it could be 10 yards 30 feet I'm not sure um, but 3.75 mil uh, 3.75 mils um, this is obviously the 3.75 three uh, it's P, you know print media 3.750 is basically how the part numbers work so the pm 2750 is going to be a 2.75 mil so you, if you look at the part number you know if it starts with a two it's two mil starts with a three it's three mil and then i have the laminate i'm using which is pl 3150 which it's <laughs> i guess it doesn't follow the same because that's a 2.75 mil but anyways that's what i'm using and then this is done now it's uh it's let me take it out oops oh, i didn't mean to have that rubbing down there but i think it's okay so it's ready for me to take these off so just kind of a heads up whenever y'all are removing this you don't want to cut it right here it's too close you need I use this metal strip right here as a guide I don't cut it beyond that um, as far as like you need the paper at least sticking out to that metal guide when you print the next roll the, the next sheet and uh, but you need more than this for when you put it back in there to, to register it the pinch what uh, the pinch rollers won't have enough room to grab on they won't it'll run out it'll get just kick the sheet out so you need to un, undo the clamp, you need to pull it out some so that you have, I, I always try to give it, I guess, I don't know, three or four inches here, which seems like a waste of media, but it's the way you have to do it. And then you can clamp it back down so it holds it. And then you can cut it, which you gotta set this down. I just hold on to the end here, use a razor blade. There you go. My second sheet of these. That's 48 right there. I have some other ones I've been working on for a client. And then something else I have going on is I ordered some magnet material. This is the 30 mil. So it's the thickest I could find. I've got four sheets of it. I have a client that ordered some car magnets for his truck 
and so I'm gonna get those made this weekend I've never done that before I'm not really sure if I'm if this is something I'm supposed to if this stays on and I just put the vinyl on top of this or if that's supposed to peel off I really don't know I've never made any so I'm gonna look into that I think I just put it on top of that I mean it's a real nice coating I don't know why I couldn't so I'm gonna play around with that and see if I can do that without messing it all up and wasting a bunch of material wish me luck I've got my heat press over here which <laughs> I store all my cutting mats on just to save space. Um, I want to upgrade this because I get, I've gotten another t-shirt order and with the Roland BN28 you can you can use the media here to make uh, heat transfer vinyl shirts. I don't know if I really like the way it feels yet. I have to wash some and see if it softens up. It seems really thick to me and I don't know if I like it. So it's the Roland ESM HTM3. This is 75 feet of 20 inch wide. And then I have the, the transfer mask for it, which is PMG PTM2. And I have 75 feet of that, 20 inches wide. Um, the, the vinyl I'm using for Roland, or from Roland, is the ESM GCVP. Um, I got two 10 foot rolls that are 20 inches wide I don't know why I got these because I only bought this one I think that it came with one roll with the machine so that you can calibrate and set everything up because it uses I don't it, it honestly uses probably six feet of material just to set up and calibrate everything and then this was on back order so i think coldesi shout out to coldesi i think they sent me this just for free just an extra one because they sent me two of these one came with the machine and then one came later in the mail with the extra package that i ordered because they send the machine um on a pallet and then everything else that comes in the kit they they send like a fedex or ups or whatever in a separate package and then um so, so yeah, so I've got 50 feet of it, and then I had two 10-foot rolls. I think I've used up all of those, so I'm on the I'm on the 50-foot roll. I'm not using that right now, though. I'm using substance. Uh, this big roll that they they sent me is is too big for my machine. I was gonna try to cut them down and see how that works out. I didn't know that they would cut it down for free, so I should have asked them to cut it down for me. I didn't know anything about that when I first got that from them. I got that from them almost, or it's probably been, I don't know, six months ago when I was first learning about all this stuff. So anyways, that's that. Oh, I'm sorry I'm rambling. Um, I still have the Epson label machine. I'm not doing a whole lot of business with that one right now. I'm trying to get some more sales with that. but. Uh, it is kind of frustrating because you have to stock a lot of material. I don't have a whole lot right now. I have some uh, some eight and a half inch wide. I've got some two inch wide. I've got two and a half inch wide. Um, or no, that's three. That might be three inch. I think this is a brand new roll of two and a half inch mat. I've got a bunch of uh, one and a half inch back there. Um, but all clients want different sizes, different uh, different material, whether it be BOP or paper. Most people don't want to pay for the BOP or the higher quality, they just want the paper. So um, you have to buy a lot of material for this machine and you have to buy it in bulk for it to be cheap. You have to buy a lot of it and spend a lot of money for it to be cheap. Um, so I don't know, but then again, the ink on this one's real cheap. Uh, the ink on this one is, is real expensive. I don't even want to think about it right now, it's so expensive. That, that's how expensive it is. Um, and then I've still got cut vinyl that I'm doing every now and then. It's not very often, but I've got some cut vinyl I'm doing. And I do that on a combination between the Vibor, which I rarely use this. I try to not use this. It's only for if I have something that's really big. Um, but I have my Cameo, uh, my Cameo Plus, 4 Plus. It's the 15 inch version. Um, this one honestly I, th this machine is awesome okay I mean I don't have a, a graph tech or anything but 
I think for the money and what this thing, you know, how much money this thing costs and basically what it is, it, it, it's, it does really good work. I'm not gonna knock it at all. It's, uh, it's been a good machine to me. Uh, my Epson here, I wanna get this thing out of here. I don't think I'm gonna be using it now that I have the rolling. I'm trying to step it up and I just, I need, I need the space. Um, I can't print anything on it other than the, uh, the, you know, the, the fake eco solvent. I mean, it's good for certain applications. You know, I've sold plenty of stickers, didn't have any complaints or anything, but they do fade. Certain colors fade quite heavily out in the bright sun. It's not in the sun. It, it's still good, but, um, you have to use it also or it's going to start to get clogged up and stuff. So I don't know if, if someone wants it. You know, maybe one of y'all could have it if you want it. Just uh, hit me up, send me a message. Um, if you want to pay for the shipping, maybe I can just ship it to you. Um, if if you want, so just let me know. And then um, still got I, I print my invoices on that guy. I'm a 3D printer, which I don't use very often, but there's no, no reason to get rid of that. Um, it makes products out of thin air, basically. And it was only like 300 bucks and I have it dialed in. Um, other people complain about 3D printers. Um, th this thing's been awesome to me. I can't knock it at all. It's, it's amazing. I mean, that thing's worth so much more money to me than what I paid for it. Um, I, I can make awesome, awesome stuff with that machine. It's just putting in the time to create the files and you know, I don't really do all that. I just like to download files every now and then when I find something. Every now and then I'll make my own file, but it's a honestly it's a lot of work i'm not very good with all that but uh with that i can't see myself getting rid of the 3d printer because the thing is a champ it still works good got on my shipping station um got my main table where i do all my lay you know laminates and rolling everything through the laminator i cut my vinyl over here and uh, anyways, that's that. I'm kind of running out of space in here. My son and I got a pond prowler, a little fishing boat, and I shoved it in here, took up some extra space. So I don't really have too much space to move all around now, but it's okay, because we have fun with this. If any of y'all have any questions or want to know anything about the pond prowler, let me know things are awesome and uh we we look forward to taking it out more we've only taken it out on the lake twice so far taking it out on lake georgetown trying to get some more business going uh right now i've got some a candle maker they want some candle labels i've got a guy with a um what is it a sorry it's a glass installation company for automotive glass they want some work shirts they want about 10 work shirts that just have like a left chest um i guess press you would call it i'm going to just make some heat transfer vinyl that has the logo and then um i've got the card magnet job going on let me see i think those are the three jobs i've got going on right now and then you know Anyways, if y'all have any questions or anything, let me know. Um, the Roland BN20 has been great so far. It was a little bit frustrating to learn just because obviously I want everything to work perfectly from day one. And uh, there's a little bit of a learning curve. It wasn't anything too crazy. But um, it's a good machine. So far it's cutting good. Um, uh, now that I think about it, I'm going to check something real quick. People talk about a cutting strip getting eaten up real quickly. I haven't really checked that yet. Let me look and see. I see what they're saying. It is starting to get eaten up a little bit. So Maybe I'm going to try to lighten up the pressure a little bit. And see if I can still cut through the uh, both the vinyl and the laminate whenever I'm doing the perforated cuts. Um, but if if y'all are like hesitant to get one of these machines because you're worried about operating it, I'll tell you what. 
I don't think it's hard to operate the machine at all. I think the machine is very easy, easy to operate. Um, honestly, it's. I, I think there's certain aspects of it that are easier than using like the these cheaper vinyl cutters. Um, all, all that stuff works really good. The hardest part about it is learning how to use the design software, use Corel Draw or Adobe Illustrator. That's the hardest part about it. This machine works really, really good. And uh, I, I do think you can probably make a lot of money with it. I don't know how long it's gonna take for me to pay back my investment of, of you know, getting a loan for it and purchasing it. But, um, you know, I have been getting in orders and I was kind of holding off on orders for a while until this machine came in. So I was trying to kind of slow things down. Now I got to try to pick things up. I might start trying to do some cold calling this weekend. See if I can stir up some more business. Um, but for right now, honestly, I have enough jobs to keep me busy for a little bit. Um, I'm not doing this full time right now. It's just a side thing. So for right now, it's keeping me plenty busy. So I said, if you have any questions or anything, y'all give me a holler. I'd be glad to answer any questions or help y'all if you're having any issues with Corel Draw, the BN20A, um, the Cameo, uh, the Silhouette Studio, any of that stuff that I know about, I'm willing to help y'all with. So just give me a call on the phone send me a message um, whatever you want to do but thanks for watching subscribing please share anything y'all can do to help out I want to keep helping the community and I want to keep growing this and um, you know I'm not trying to keep any secrets I'll, I'll show y'all what material I'm using what machines I'm using I'm not trying to hide anything um, you know I've, I'm not worried about like competition and all that because this is a big uh, industry I feel there's plenty of customers, so I'm not worried about any of that. So, um, if there's other people that are uh, think that's uh, foolish, you know, that's that's your deal. I'm not worried about it. So, y'all take it easy.